So understand this now. When you pray to God, and you say, God give me faith, there is a difference between the gift of faith Mm -hmm. The gift of faith is something that God gives you the ability to be able to believe what he says <coughs> without any question. It's a supernatural thing. And just faith. When you pray to God, you say, Father, give me faith. God will give you his word. Amen. Faith is not a spiritual substance. Mm. (laughs) It's the accumulation of the information that is coming from the heart of God. Mm -hmm. Mm. Faith is the accumulation of information, the word of God entering a person. So you cannot acquire faith unless you hear God. So if you pray, you say, Lord, give me faith. God will give you his word because faith is a result of the accumulation of his word. Mm. So somebody wants to become stronger and mightier in faith. You don't receive faith by prayer. Faith does not come because you prayed. Faith does not come because you fasted. Faith wow. does not come because you, you, you prayed 24-7. No. Faith wow. is simply the accumulation of the word or information coming from God. This is what the Bible says. My people perish because of lack of knowledge. So why is God saying people are perishing because of lack of knowledge? Remember what the Bible says. The just shall live by faith. Mm-hmm. So God is saying you're being destroyed. Because you lack faith. But you read it, read it in, 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 the, in the Old Testament, you realize that God is talking about information because faith is information. Mm. What makes you to believe a person is the information they give you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. If you go to court, you have to present your case. Then the judge will determine based on the evidence if you're saying the truth or not. Yeah. He will, be, he will believe you based on what you say or how you prove your faith. It is the same thing with God. Faith does not magically appear because you just prayed. No. That is why I love this scripture. It says, uh, uh, um, it, it says those who know their God shall do great exploits. Ech metala vitai in Greek. And Hebrew. So are you catching what I'm saying? What I'm trying to explain to you is this. And I'm trying to make you understand this the best way that you can. And this is why you need to share this. Comprehend this with all your heart. There is no shortcut to faith. There is no shortcut to faith. I'll say it again. There is no shortcut to faith. Amen. Amen. I'll say it one more time. There is absolutely no shortcut to faith. It does not exist. Praying does not produce faith. Praying is a result of faith. Mm. That is why the Bible says, He that prayeth must know... (laughs) That God is. How can you God know that God is if you don't know that he is? Yeah. yeah. So prayer itself is a result of faith. Let's, let's read it in the Bible. Hold on. Mm. I just feel something in my spirit now. Amen. <laughs> uh, Lord Jesus. Are you ready? I want you to go to... Um, I want you to go to Hebrews chapter 11. And I'm going to explain something in Hebrews chapter 11. And then, and then uh, I want you to read uh, verse 1. Amen. Verse 1 to 3. 
Hebrews 11, mm -hmm. verse 1 to 3. Mm -hmm. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Read it one more time. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Uh -huh. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. How did they obtain a good report? By faith, which is substance. Now, that substance, where is it? Because everybody says faith is substance. Mm. I agree with you. The Bible says so. But where is that substance? Yeah. Wow. So faith is not just saying I have something that I don't have. But you have to understand the location of that substance. Mm -hmm. That is why God is informing you. If I tell you food is in the kitchen, but you're looking for it in the living room, will you find it in the living room? <laughs> no. So faith is the map to where God has what you want. Wow. Wow. If you want to go to, the, to a, a neighborhood or a business you've never been in, you go on Google Maps. Right? Right. Uh, you say, turn left, turn right, turn this way, turn that way. You have never been to that place. Mm. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. But you are trusting what it is telling you. Yeah. Because you know it is pointing somewhere that you have never been, but you are going with it. Why? Because you know it is somewhere. It's not at the back of your house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. yeah. So faith is a map to where God wants you to be. So if you come to God and you tell him, I want this, God says use faith. Mm. What is faith? Instruction, direction, and information. Wow, that's deep. Is somebody catching what I'm saying? Yes. yes. So when you hear Paul saying, now faith is substance, evidence of things not seen, uh, evidence of things not seen. What he's trying to explain to you is this. Where spiritually he is, he's summarizing what he has studied for years. Mm. You have to remember, uh, uh, Paul was a Sanhedrin, yeah, San, Sanhedrin, is that how you say it? Sanhedrin. 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 Mm. Sanhedrin. This guy was a scholar of the scriptures. The apostles, the, the twelve were not even close to him when it comes to the scriptural, scriptural knowledge. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. this guy had studied, 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 studied. <clears throat> he was one of the, the, the governing bodies of the religious group that was actually policing the nation con together with the, uh, uh, with, the, with the Romans. So I want you to capture this and capture this well in your spirit. So when he's instructing this, he's telling you it is substance based on what you have heard. Mm 